what's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to some mechanics and materials. So let's solve this problem. So we solved a similar problem just like this, 3.26, but now we're on 3.27. So now we have a specimen with a diameter of 12.7 millimeters and a length of about 50.8 millimeters. And we're applying a force to it, and it makes the diameter smaller. So now our goal is to find Poisson's ratio, which is this equation here. Strain long, or strain in the lateral direction versus strain in the long direction. So this is the change in diameter, basically, and this is the change in length. So let's go ahead and solve that. So uh, what we need to do first is we need to look at our stress-strain diagram, right? Stress-strain. We need to find the E, which is the last, uh, uh, modulus of elasticity, right? E is equal to the change in strain, or a strain in stress over change in strain during this elastic period. So this linear line here, we need to find the slope of that. So if we want to find the slope of good, obviously we just need to do rise over run. It starts at the origin, so we can just do 490 times 10 to the sixth for that uh, megapascals, and then divide it by 0 0.007. With that, you're gonna get that E is equal to 70,000 megapascals or 70 gigapascals. So I'm just gonna keep it at 70 gigapascals. There we go, we found that. So let's find lateral strain and long strain. So let's start with the lateral because that's gonna be pretty easy. So the equation for strain, right, I'm gonna write lat there, is gonna be a uh, change in diameter over the original diameter. And this is because we're looking at the lateral direction and seeing how much the uh, diameter changes. So we know d prime is this new diameter, which happens when the p is applied. So let's just plug in our numbers for this. So it's gonna be 12.67494 minus the original diameter, 12.7 over the original diameter, 12.7. Solve this, you get that the lateral strain is gonna be equal to negative 0 0.00197 millimeters per millimeter. Cool, so then all we need to find is the long strain. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we don't know what the new length becomes, so we can't simply do this equation. So what we have to do is we have to go into this equation. The stress is equal to the modulus elasticity times strain. So this is where we find the modulus elasticity we needed for this equation. So for solving for strain, let's go ahead and divide by E, and we also need to expand stress. We know stress is force over area, so we can write that as force over area, and then we're gonna divide by that E, and that's gonna be equal to epsilon long. So now we just need to plug in our numbers. We know that the force is 50 kilonewtons, so 50 on the top. Area is gonna be pi over four. The original diameter squared, so 12.7 squared, and then times our modulus elasticity, 70. So you're going to do this, and you're going to get that epsilon long is equal to uh, 0 0.00564 millimeters per millimeter. Right. So now all we need to do is plug in the Poisson's ratio, negative, lat, so there's a ne another negative there, so those are going to cancel, 0, 0, 0.00197 over 0 0.00564. You're gonna find Poisson's ratio, it's gonna be a positive number, 0 0.350. And there we go, so that's how you solve this problem. All right, not too tricky, just about uh, knowing the equations for these things, basically understanding what the question is asking. So yeah, any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Check out my playlist for more videos like this if you wanna learn more mechanics. And I'll see you in the next one, peace.